Hello, hello, Scorpios, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp, Cross Watchers. Welcome everyone to my channel. I am Tiarica Love. How are you all doing? Hopefully you all are doing just great, wonderful, fantastic, loving yourself, loving your creator, loving your family, loving what you're choosing to do, to bring in your pentacles. I just, um, I just hope you all are just doing uh, just great, okay? Um, so, Scorpios, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp, Cross Watchers, um, I'm going to get some messages for you all. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I saw something like, it was like a little string. Oh, anyway. Okay, let me stay focused. Okay. I'm going to get some messages for you all for the week of April the 4th through the 11th. Okay. Today is April the 4th. So, uh, please know that these will be general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. Okay. If you find messages here that resonate, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then just please do leave them here on the table to allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with, okay? All right, so we got your overall energy, you and your love interest, overall energy for the week of April 4th through 11th, okay? Through the 11th, all right. This is the energy between you and the person that you are connecting with or want to connect with or the person that you have on your mind as you are watching this uh, video, okay? All right, so you have emotional support here, all right? So now is the time to check in with your emotions and your partner's thoughts and feelings, okay? So it is time to do like a emotional check in here, okay? Check yourself, uh, check your partner's thoughts, their feelings, you all's feelings, and see if you all are on the same page here, okay? All right, you have laughter here. So, the laughter shared between you and your person warms the spirit in no way, I mean, in a way that no coat could ever, okay? So, the laughter, the joy, the happiness between you and this person will warm you more than um, a coat will, a blanket will, okay? So, that is much needed. It is needed, okay? All right. So, you have final shot here. Somebody got to shoot their final shot here. Now is the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot, then you will always wonder what if, okay? So, it is time to um, stop thinking about it and just step out on it. Step out on, on, on faith, okay? All right? All right? Or maybe your person, you ready for your person to kind of um, shoot their final shot because you like the clock is ticking, okay? All right? So, let's see. You have listen and reflect here. Okay, so sometimes what a person needs is not a wise mind that speaks, but a patient heart that listens. Okay, so for this upcoming week, let's be the patient heart that listens and not um, talk as much. Okay, maybe a person has some things that they want to share with you and they need your ears. All right, they need your ears and your heart. Okay. All right, and you have a law of attraction. All right, so we attract what we are. Use the law of attraction to manifest your perfect match by being the perfect match to yourself first, okay? So you are what you attract, all right? So know that, okay? All right, so let's see. How does this person, what is this person's thoughts, feelings, and desires towards you? For the upcoming week, for this week of April the 4th through the 11th, okay? How is this person feeling about, well, what is your person's thoughts towards you? Okay, so you have cheating and deception here, alright? So maybe your person this week could be having a hard time trusting you, alright? This could be your thoughts here towards your person. Let's see, you also have proposal and marriage here. So your person could be, their thoughts towards you, they could think that you are in a relationship. You're already probably, they feel like you're already connected to someone and they could be having a hard time. Um, trusting you, okay? Now let's look at their feelings here towards you. How do 
does this person feel okay you have distractions here they hustling they could be focused on their pentacles they feel like you are hustling focused on your pentacles and maybe they feel like you are a bit distracted here okay you also have waiting so they feel like uh, maybe they could be growing tired of waiting here someone could be growing tired of waiting here okay all right so let's look at the desires what is this person desiring you have the runner here so this person is desiring to run is it run away it is run towards healing here could be okay so running towards healing all right so there could be a healing that needs to take place okay and let's see let's get a message um for you all in regards to timing here okay so you have january something could have transpired in january maybe um January could be a significant month to some of you all, all right? This is the number six. Six is about cooperation, uh, communication here. You could have uh, maybe, um, there could have been, maybe you could have got some cooperation, cause some communication here from this person in January. Okay, let's see. You also have, it's the right time to take action here so it's time for you to take action it's time for your person to take action this is the number six as well so take action towards um cooperation uh, being well communicate here what you want okay all right so let's see what do you need to know about your love interest or this connection for this week here you have twin flame all right so you don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. So you could be dealing with someone that you feel the spiritual connection to or they feel a spiritual tie to you as well. Okay, you don't have to prove anything to this person. This person uh, pretty much um, know who you are. Okay, you got hopeful here. So they are opening up themselves to love, allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning here, all right? So your person is still hopeful, is being hopeful. They realize that you do give their life meaning here, okay? So that's what they could be running towards a healing. And healing, she is pointing this way here. So, um... Yeah, masculine running towards feminine. Feminine is the healing, the healer. Okay. All right. So you also have anxiously awaiting here. Okay. So they search for you and everything, feel you everywhere, everywhere, always in the back of their mind, hoping to run into you. Okay. So this is where your person is desiring to run into you if you are the one with the. Um, that is all about healing have the healing qualities here okay all right so let's um get some more messages tell us more all right got planning ahead so divine timing is aligned here and know that you can rewrite your love story there's opportunities to reconcile love here with this person for this upcoming week here okay so let's get a healing message for you all Let's get a healing message. All right. So it's time to evolve. It's time to make some decisions here. It's not a negative situation, but a necessary one. Having the awareness to see it from your soul's perspective that you choose much of this before you incarnate it is needed. This releases the victimhood mentality and pulls back your power. We must go through trials and tribulations as an opportunity to continue to evolve. Okay, How you choose to interpret the situation hinges on your growth or not. All right. So these are your messages for the week of April the 4th through the 11th. I really hope that they will be helpful. Thank you all so much for joining me. I salute the divinity in you all. I am sending you all so much love, so much light, so much positivity. And I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye.